Hello and welcome. This is Shortest Path Training's next tips and tricks session, which accompanies our newsletter. First, we're going to look at a new improvement feature to the Find Search tool. This is available from iBase version 9. One way of opening the Find dialog is to go to the entity or link type of interest, right mouse click and find. If you're not familiar with Find, it is a structured search tool which enables you to search for partial information and you can also use wildcards. In version 9, the tool has been rewritten. It is significantly quicker. For example, we can bring back thousands of records instantly. So, what else is new? We now have the option to create new entities directly from Find. We can create and save our search criteria as a query. And we also have the option to reset the dialogue. Let's begin by creating a new entity from within the dialogue. It is important to search for records prior to creating any new ones in the database to prevent the creation of duplicates. Once satisfied that the entity is not in the database, if you wish to create it, choose Create Entity. Find will store your search criteria to speed up the input process. Alternatively, you can create a new query directly from within the Find dialog by selecting Create Query. This enables you to build on your search criteria to ask more targeted questions of the data. For our second tip, we're going to learn how to assign a column as a type when importing into Analyst Notebook. In this example, we have titled column B, type of entity. Analyst Notebook will look at the characters in the column and generate the relevant types for each row, providing it matches up with the type name in your template. A shortcut for assigning a value from a column in the importer is to select and drag the column into the value. The link or entity that is using column for type will appear in green in the import specification. When the characters in your column do not correspond to the template, it will generate a new type on your chart. This will look like a circle. Although this may not be visually useful, it is still a valid type, and so it is good for searching and analysis.
You can modify your newly created types within chart properties. You can right mouse click on a blank part of your charts and edit chart properties. Under entity types, we'll scroll to the bottom of the list. The two new created types appear here. I will select the drone entity type and go to properties. For example, we can add an icon picture We can also add it to relevant palettes. And then OK. In order for these two new entity types to be available in future charts, I need to save them to a template. Under File, Template, choose Create Template. You can either create a local template and give it a name, or you can use the standard template, which is the default one. Now when I create a brand new chart, I can locate my new entity type. As always, we hope you have found this tip session useful. Thank you for watching. If you would like to reach out to us, please email info at shortestpathtraining.co.uk.